are the best-selling girl group in America of all time. But no matter what we went through, we never questioned the love. At that time, we had nothing to lose. They had everything. They had the look, and they had the sound, they had the songs. <laughs> Only the scrubs are upset. They will go down in the history books of music. How are we supposed to fight against the world if we're fighting internally? We're going to pull through somehow. The music industry had deemed TLC to be over. But what was the future going to bring? We still got a lot to do. What you mean? <laughs> Welcome back, Sam Fam. That was a clip from the Must Talk to You About docu-series of the summer from the women whose music for decades has inspired us to boss up and allow no scrubs into our lives. TLC took over the 90s, becoming one of the greatest female music groups of all time, earning four Grammys, five Soul Train Music Awards, and now in that new documentary you saw, it's called TLC Forever. Tion, T-Boz, Watkins, and Rosanda Chili Thomas are sharing their most personal stories about their remarkable rise, worldwide fame, and the moments that people still talk about. Tam Fam, please welcome via Skype the fabulous and fierce Grammy Award winning Chili. How are you? Hi. How's it going? You know, this docuseries, a lot of people are talking about it, and I think they feel like we know so much of the story, but we hear in the trailer there is so much more. Why did you think the time was right to share it now? We thought about it because it wasn't an, an immediate yes, but we thought about it and we were like, yeah, we got to do this. And we're so blessed to be alive to tell our own story. And um, that truth can only come from me and Tion and no one else. Absolutely. And so in that, did you feel when you were in conversations that there was much more to be told? Because like I said, you know, when you talk about the history and legacy of the group, people, we mm -hmm. followed you from the beginning and, and we followed you through the highs and the lows and the comebacks, yeah. you're still on tour. This summer, your tour is one of the hottest yeah. tickets in town right now. <laughs> but I'm curious, what did you feel was unfinished business? Well, you have to keep in mind, uh, even when you know you saw the VH1 behind the music, uh, we did a couple of those actually, and then uh, the biopic. In almost 31 years, it, you can't get everything in two hours or you know, even in the documentary, it's it's just so much stuff. And even like the things that people know about, it's deeper than that. I love in the trailer you say about the song Scrubs, which I, of course, we all played over and over and over. And we all have a specific <laughs> guy in mind when that song comes on. You said only the Scrubs were mad about the song. Oh, yeah. I mean... You know what they say, a hit dog will holler. So, you know, only scrubs are hollering. That's it. You know, it's, it's, it's incredible to think about. It's been 20 years since Lisa passed away. Um, yeah. You talk about the two people who are left to tell this story are you and Tian. How difficult yes. is it when you are laying your souls bare and knowing that one of the most gifted musicians uh, of, of our time is not there with you to tell this part, this next chapter? You know, we've had to deal with it for so long yeah. because, you know, losing her is our loss, you know? And, uh, and time does heal, but, you know, you obviously never forget. You never stop loving just because she's not here anymore. I still love her. Mm -hmm. um, and, again, when you talk about the memories and all that kind of stuff, Tian and I, we know because... It was only the three of us together going through these things in the rooms, talking when no one else was around. Yeah. And um, so we can tell that side, which is her side too, again, better than anybody yeah. can do it. And, uh, and T and I, we're going to keep carrying it until, you know, <laughs> till the wheels fall off. I, I love it. Okay, so I got to ask you too, because of course, um, we fell in love with you when you were on your dating show at the time. Uh-huh, yeah. you know where I'm going. <laughs> I do. Yeah, you do. 
Um, so you on the dating show, I read in People magazine, you talked about some things in life were meant to be. It was meant to be a part of TLC. It was meant to be the mom of an adorable young man. I can't believe how fast Thank he's you. grown up. I guess, how do you describe where you are in this love journey of yours with, with Matthew Lawrence? Um... I, I, you know, I'm waiting. Look, I see you blushing. I see you blushing. I know, I know, I know. I can't even help it. He always puts the grilled cheese on my face. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think it has so much to do with the fact that, and again, you know, on my show, I, I always hoped that women would see the importance of having high standards. And I got a lot of flack from that, but I don't care. You know, I, I just, and for me, I just waited it out. And I'm like, Lord, if it happens, Wonderful. If it doesn't, I'm still okay. And so Matthew, honestly, I mean, he's the list. Aww. I can't even say, you know, this or that. He is my entire list. And so I, I thank God every day for her. Sis. Congratulations. I will be at one of the shows, the hottest ticket in town this summer. You're going to be watching thank the docuseries, going to go see TLC and the summer concert tour. Congratulations on everything. And when you get in this studio, I promise I'm going to do one of the dance moves. We love you, Chili. We're going to have fun. I love you too. We're going to have fun. Congratulations. Be sure to catch TLC forever, June 3rd, 8 p.m. Eastern on Lifetime and A&E.